Hi guys and welcome to day two of Camp Lockdown. Well, firstly, I wanna say so sorry to all of the people that could not take advantage of my video yesterday about being outside. It turns out that I had a bunch of emails from people saying that their woods are closed down and that their trails are shut and, uh, and they can't get outside. So I'm so sorry to you guys. We're gonna make this content today all for you having some fun inside and we're gonna teach some tricks. We're gonna teach your dog how to wind itself up and then it's going to unwind itself and tricks are always fun with kids and dogs. Um, kids love to teach them and dogs love learning. So grab your treat bag, grab your dog, make sure the kids are involved and let's get started. Okay, so ready, rock and roll. Got my treat bag on. I realized that I'm color coordinated with my dogs today. We're both wearing black and brown. That's just the way it goes. So you're gonna take a treat. The most important thing is, is this treat has to feel like it's magnetized to your dog's nose for this treat to work. So you're gonna take the treat out in front of them and then you're going to very slowly, oh, uh, mine just broke all into little pieces. Well, that's it. We're going to take the treat very slowly and draw a circle over their head. Yes. When they do your 360, you're gonna give the treat. Now the word yes just says, what you did is the thing I'm looking for. Yes, and a treat is coming. Now, if you find that your dog is sitting, sometimes when you do this, you make the circle with your hand, but the dog goes up into the sit position, it's because your hand is too high. So make sure that your hand is at the dog's nose level, otherwise it's not gonna work so well. So nice and low like this. Yes, right at the dog's nose height. And then we'll try and speed it up a little bit. Yes. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and lose the treat out of our hand and just do a hand signal. Yes. Good job. And then dip into the treat pouch and give the treat. Very nice. Once they've got it on one side, you're going to do the opposite direction. Yes. And give the treat. Know that your dog is going to favor one side definitely better than the other. And this way, she's very clever. I had a treat in both hands and she's like, which one am I following? So make sure if you do that, hide your treat hand that you do not want your dog looking at. Yes. Can you see how much worse she is on this side? She's got a bit of a bad back, so she probably just doesn't like bending that way. Yes, that looks better though. And when you have it mastered, you can give it a fun name. You can either call it fast forward and rewind, although that doesn't mean a lot to people that are under the age of 30. Um, or you could call it spin and twist or zip and zap, whatever you want to call it. And the finished product should look something like this. Ready, Z? Spin. Yes, good boy, and twist. Good boy, and spin. Yes, and twist. Good boy. Nice work. La! So that's day two. Practice, practice, practice. And if you want to post a video of you guys doing this below here, I would absolutely love to see your progress at home. Take care, stay safe.